Ted Danson is one of our favorite TV and film actors of all time. He got his first big break playing the lead, Sam Malone, on the hit NBC sitcom Cheers. He later played Jack Holden in the comedy films Three Men and a Baby and Three Men and a Little Lady. Fans might also know him as Dr. John Becker from the CBS sitcom Becker, as well as D.B. Russell from CSI Crime Scene Investigation. Perhaps his most underrated role was playing the afterlife architect Michael in the NBC offbeat sitcom The Good Place. With a career as storied as his, it's hard to believe that it came close to crashing to a halt because of a short-lived affair during the 90s. But even though his career was able to recover from that hiccup, it still ended up costing him his marriage and nearly $30 million. Join Facts First as we take a look at Ted Danson's affair with Whoopi Goldberg, a fling that reportedly cost him a whole lot more than he was expecting. Whoopi and Ted's Whirlwind Affair over the years, there have been countless scandalous celebrity relationships that have made waves in the tabloids, but one of the most notorious is Ted Danson's affair with Whoopi Goldberg. In the early 90s, the two rising stars struck up a romance that not only created quite a bit of controversy in the media, but also led ultimately to Danson's 1993 divorce, which after dealing with court proceedings cost him a lot more than he bargained for. Danson and Goldberg met in 1988 on the Arsenio Hall Show. After exchanging a few pleasantries and getting acquainted, they became close friends. They maintained this friendship for the next couple years, but in 1992, their relationship evolved into something more romantic, when they started having an affair while on the set of the film Made in America. But even though Danson seemed to be enamored of Goldberg, going as far as saying he would have happily walked in Whoopi's shadow for the rest of his life, there was one problem. At the time, Danson was married to his second wife, Cassandra Coates, so the two clandestine lovebirds did their best to keep their relationship under wraps. But it didn't take long for the media to catch wind of their fling, and inevitably Coates was clued in on her husband's infidelity. When the tabloids spilled the beans about Ted and Whoopi's romance, they pretty much had a field day. The paparazzi ended up capturing the two's entire relationship timeline, from their budding courtship all the way to Danson's high-profile divorce and he and Whoopi's eventual breakup. After 18 years of marriage, Coates finally decided enough was enough and filed for divorce from Danson shortly after finding out about his romantic involvement with Whoopi. The affair was the straw that broke the camel's back. Reportedly, the couple had already been going through hard times, and there were numerous other factors that contributed to Danson and Coates' relationship failing. But clearly, cheating is never something that contributes to a happy, healthy relationship. Coates became paralyzed after having a stroke while giving birth to her and Danson's first daughter, Kate. Even though Danson remained faithfully by her side as she slowly but surely learned to walk again, the trauma inflicted by that stroke created a large rift between the two of them. Danson told Closer that at the root of his and his ex-wife's marital problems was a massive lack of trust. He further told the outlet they found it very difficult to adjust to the fact that they were no longer the same people they were before Coates had her life-changing medical crisis. So by the time Coates learned of her husband's affair, she had already pretty much made up her mind about the trajectory of their marriage and used it as the jumping off point to finally pull the cord. Coates received a big payout during the nasty divorce. When all was said and done, she walked away with the couple's two kids and also an eye-watering $30 million in a divorce settlement, making it one of the costlier celebrity divorces in history. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. And stick around for more about Ted and Whoopi. Rumors spread that Ted and Whoopi were planning a wedding. As soon as the news broke that Danson and Coates were divorcing, rumors started flying that Ted and Whoopi were planning to get married. But these were squashed when it was reported that Danson had dumped Goldberg under pressure from his parents. While some relationships run out of steam faster than others, it was reportedly outside pressure from Danson's own family that brought about the end of their romance. It's speculated that Ted's parents saw their son's relationship with Whoopi as a symptom of some kind of midlife crisis, and apparently Ted eventually agreed. Ted later told the media he went nuts, hurt his children, and hurt his wife. But he added he was doing the best he could do at the time. Ted Danson's Controversial Blackface Stunt 
Danson and Goldberg weren't afraid of pushing boundaries when they were together, even if that meant making people angry. This is what happened the time that Danson showed up at a roast for Whoopi at the New York Friars Club wearing blackface while making a ton of highly offensive jokes. Whoopi, however, defended Danson, stating that she even wrote some of his routine herself. She even said it took a lot of courage for Ted to come out in blackface in front of 3,000 people, adding that she didn't care if people didn't like it because she did. A few people in attendance at the event found Danson's antics to be in poor taste. Those included Mayor David Dinkins, as well as Sherry Belafonte, Anita Baker, and Montel Williams. Danson reportedly made quite a few unsavory remarks about his sex life with Whoopi and even used the N-word more than a dozen times. Montel Williams walked out in the middle of the set and later compared the evening to a meeting of the Klan. Mayor Dinkins said he felt embarrassed for Whoopi and the audience. Revisiting the topic years later, Goldberg doesn't seem to have changed her mind. In fact, she said her only regret was that none of her comedian friends were in attendance. Ted Danson's Third Marriage with Mary Steenburgen On November 5, 1993, Danson and Goldberg put out a statement confirming they had ended their relationship. A year later, Ted met actress Mary Steenburgen on a five-hour canoe ride while filming what would be the blockbuster flop 1994 film Pontiac Moon. Ted and Mary had both already been through rocky romances before, and they had all but given up on love. But when they met each other, paddling down California's big river, sparks flew. Mary had been a huge fan of Cheers, and watching that program reportedly lifted her spirits when she was going through her own tumultuous divorce from actor Malcolm McDowell. After a brief courtship, Danson and Steenburgen got married October 7, 1995. Danson became stepfather to Mary's two children, Lily and Charlie, whom she had from her previous marriage. Steenburgen told Closer that she and Ted do occasionally clash, and she further admitted that she sometimes gets jealous when someone who recognizes him from TV flirts with him at a bar. But overall, she says Ted is nothing short of a loving husband. When such things happen, he apparently is always very quick to inform his fans he's happily married. After 26 years of marriage, Ted and Mary are still happily married. These days, Danson says that family is the most important thing in his life. Even though his work in show business often requires him to travel, he says he much prefers being at home with his three granddaughters. When asked if he has regrets, Danson says he wouldn't go back and change anything. Even though he freely admits he's made some cringeworthy mistakes in the past, he also knows everything he's been through has led him to the happy, satisfying life he has today. At 73, he says he finally realizes it's okay to be imperfect, and he's perfectly okay with that. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite Ted Danson role from his 46-year career? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.